What is going on, my fellow Shinobi Strikers? Chalk here, and today I'm starting a new series on things that we as a community probably want to see in Shinobi Striker, or things that Bandai should just probably just fix. So starting in at number one, it's a pretty obvious thing, at least for the Xbox players. Let's have them address, before we get anything else, the dashboarding. Because as I'm sure you guys are aware, there's nothing more frustrating than dashboarding. And I'm sure there's people out there who are going to say that they've never dashboarded. And I know there's plenty of people who've only, their only experience with the game is dashboarding. It's gotten so bad that during some of the games that we've, you know, I've, I've played that it's almost rare to get a 4v4. And it's been such a rough experience that I've even contacted Bandai. Which it seems like a very kind of nerdy thing to do, but uh, I was just so frustrated, and I've been going on and on with one of their, with one of their customer service representatives, and we've been talking quite a bit, and it doesn't feel like a whole lot of traction is getting done. Although they did say, you know, can you check, check to make sure your NAT type is open, which it is. Check to make sure that these ports are accessible. For the game to access, which they are, I even have uh, a guy, a friend of mine who is a a programmer, and part of his job is just to make sure those things are actively working. And so I made sure he he was accessing my stuff, and all those port forwarded were forward correctly from what Bandai wanted. So I don't know what else we have to do as a community if we have to get a a video where we have a a million likes. I mean, that seems a little far-fetched, but you get what I'm saying. Because it, it almost seemed as if they were, at least the, the two people who I spoke with, because I've sp spoken with two different people, that they were just kind of shocked that, they, you know, they, they, were, they were unaware that this was possible, and it must be on my end. And after I sent them that, I mean, they have recorded my gamer tag, they've recorded where I where I live, what area of, that I live in, the times that I play. I mean, like, they're, they're looking, they're collecting a lot of data, but they also are kind of telling me in a weird way that we're going to collect a lot of data from you, but don't expect any results. So, you know, for me, for any game that's in the year 2020, the one thing you shouldn't have is game crashes. Like, it should be... Like a like, if you do have game crashes, let's do an emergency patch. Let's figure out what's going on and let's try to get it fixed. And, you know, in the PC world, that's exactly what would happen. You know, you might have to wait a week, maybe two weeks. But I mean, this game is well over what close to two years? Was it not two years? At least well over a year. Yeah, approaching two years. So you know, it's not exactly a new game. And that's also maybe part of the problem is it's not exactly a new game. So that's a, that's the, the number one thing I would like them to see. Now, I do have ideas I'm going to make for another part of the series on different game modes that they should add, different things that they should do with the mentors, different VR missions, the way they should redo the whole VR mission, different way, not a different way, but another way that they can elaborate on maybe elaborates the wrong word but another way that they could re redo the character customization to allow us to be i wouldn't say a little bit more unique but maybe give you the option of building that dream character that you always wanted to dream that you always want that you always dreamt of making now i do understand that this was the very first naruto game that ever came out that you were to my knowledge that you're able to make your own shinobi in which i would still have to say for its very own experience it by far blows out the very first dragon ball game that you could do and i think that was raging blast but i could i could be wrong but when you compare it to that it's by far better but i do think that uh you know with with some dlcs if you look like a game like world of warcraft in the pc realm you know they they don't make a they don't make a part two of World of Warcraft because their expansions or their DLC is their part two. So, 
instead of making a Shinobi Striker 2, and who knows if they're even going to do that, let's, you know, rally as a community and get them to add in, you know, more of these other features that I'll be releasing of, you know, my ideas. Some of them are, you know, inspired by things that other people have have maybe quickly mentioned, conversations that I've had with people, and other of other things that I thought were just, you know, straight up kind of, you know, my own unique idea, you know, and hopefully you guys have had the same idea as well. So, but number one, like I said, the number one thing that they need to fix is the black screen. And it would be nice if it, the game wasn't peer to peer. And that might be the reason why we're having such a problem. And I'm only told it's peer to peer. So I don't know if that's in fact, you know, true, but you know, if games like, uh, Apex have a centralized uh, database server, you know, for, like, I think the closest one to me is up in Oregon. You know, if they have that, there, there's there got to be something that they can do. And I know Bandai, I mean, I, I know they, they, they probably have the resources, you know, to, to pull something like that off. So, you know, getting getting something like that where we all could have our own stable connection to play. And again, I know there's some people out there who haven't experienced a single problem, and that's fantastic, and I wish I was with you, but I'm not. So doing that and helping increase the load times, or decrease the load times, I should say. And I don't know if that's because it's I'm coming straight from the hard drive, or if I should do the disc. I do know the PlayStation 4 loads faster, and both my consoles are the first respective generation within their own generation so my my playstation is playstation 4 is the regular playstation 4 was brand new when all the ps4s came out and same thing with my xbox xboxes xbox one is the very first generation of all the xboxes that came out so as i as i compare them i compare them like launch consoles and i compare them to be fairly quote unquote equal even though the internals are not well, guys, that's it for this particular video. If you guys would like to see what I have in mind for their VR Master remake and how they should uh, elaborate on more, giving us more abilities and how they should develop it even more to give old players something else to do and new players something to something to strive for, go ahead and like and subscribe. Again, I'm going to be also releasing my ideas for game modes and maps and character customizations. All this is going to be down the road. And also, feel free if you guys are new to the game. I started a, a VR master kind of guide on me ranking how I feel each individual VR master is. And we'll continue to make more videos on that as well, seeing how there is a large variety of VR masters. Alright guys, well this is Chuck, and I'll see you later.